fizzbuzz, given an integer in return a string array answer. So this is a little bit different than the fizzbuzz I've done all my life because we're going to return a string array means the numbers are going to be strings so we got to use like a to string method if we get a number and we're assigning stuff to an array so we got to do array assignment and it's going to be like this so it's not the fizzbuzz you have been used to but it is fizzbuzz. Um, so first we need to declare and in, or initialize an empty array um, called answer just like that and we need to go from starting from the number one to n we need to go through the numbers so we start with one and then i is less than or equal to the last one because we want to do all of them um, i plus plus now it's just like fizzbuzz if um, divisible by three and five so uh, we use a modulus to check if um, it equals zero so that's how we know it is um, divisible by something is if you use a modulus and it results in zero then you know it's divisible by that number so if I modulus where is it? modulus 3 equals zero and I modulus 5 equals 0 then we're gonna add it to the array so array dot push and then what are we pushing we're pushing um, in this case it's fizzbuzz else if um, if it's just one of these Here's our fizz. Else if I percentage five equals zero. Oop. Answer dot push buzz else uh, push the number but we're gonna push the number as a string so instead of doing I just I we can we can go ahead and say I dot two string method and then we need to return answer all right guys <laughs>